life life and direct Oh, now for the vigilante. <laughs> the vigilante. <laughs> oh, my life. <laughs> life and direct, and I'm a now. All right, great people. All right. Uh, of course, I led this video to play, and uh, of course, I know many of you don't know the reason why I'm showing this video. And uh, the reason why I bring out this video for people to see it is for you all to understand who I am talking to and the atrocity that him, the man you we saw, which is uh, security, ship security, the atrocity they are committing in our land. That is the reason why I bring out this video to you all to see who the person is in particular. That is why I bring the video. But I'm going to explain more better in detail so that you will understand what is happening in the place that this man, because this man that we saw, uh, he claimed to be a king. Uh, but uh, the people of Ashara, it's not the people that gave him the king. Is you know, all this Aguero king. And unfortunately, it's now... You know, threatening the community, everybody bringing Fulani, bringing Nebubago, destroying and killing our people, putting our people in a cell. So, let me introduce myself before I go in detail so that you will understand the reason why I'm here. Because I'm going to drop his number and I'm also going to drop the number of his uh, chief security so that you people should call him and ask him why is he threatening our people in our land? That is why I'm here. Because I want to, the main particular thing that I'm doing is for me to drop the number to you all so that you begin to call the man and ask him why is he selling our land? Why is he selling our land to Fulanese? Why is he taking our people, especially the IPOB members? This man is pointing hand to every IPOB member family. Every of their house is pointing hand so that the Bubagu will go and kidnap them, so that the Fulani will go there and kill them. Let me explain to you who this man is. This man, the one you people saw with the, you know, there are two people. One is with white. The one that put up full white was uh, his chief, chief, uh, uh, chief security. And this man is his name is uh, Igwe Sonny Wokede. Igwe Sonny Wokede from Achara in Oka North. You see, I want to, you know, I want to bring the news in detail so every one of you will understand what I'm talking about. But let me introduce myself before I go further. Great people, my great people, freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, great people all over the world. You are welcome once again on IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Mazen Nandi Okukano. Where we always set the record straight. My name's all Mazo known as the Pierre French I don't actually like the general. The man that we just saw now moving is a man that you know he has been taking our people mostly whenever he hear that you are an IPOB. Believe you me, this man will call Fulani, this man will call Ebubago to come and arrest you because. The man don't want to allow who is PG in that community, which is Ashara community in Okanov. The man don't want to allow the PG to take care of his duty. They impose this man as Igwe of Ashara. Like the way they, what they did to Hope, most of them were. They imposed him and this man now started selling the lands of Ashara people. And he's selling this land to Fulani. Whenever you come to now to ask him a question, why are you selling this land? He will call Fulani for you. He will call Ebubago for you. This issue has been there not today. This issue has been for a long time. There is a time that this, even though this man called Nigerian security, take them into some bushes, go there, kill our people, and you know, throw them at the back of uh, their helios. I saw all these things, but when I get this intel, they told me not to put it out there. Because if I put it out there, the man will know who gave me the video. 
and this man is keep on threatening our people and the worst part of it is like this man is arresting the ipob members putting them in cell because he believed that this is people that are stopping him you understand what i'm saying my people so we have to to know who are those that they are our enemies like i always tell my people we are fighting different faces of war and the internal enemy is something that you must first tackle before you will start going external because they are using eternal enemy as the willing to which is also your own people and they will be intimidating you at the same time because of power also because of their you know beneficiary of those people that are sending them this message i mean the fulani people because what they are planning they are planning is to conquer you or to take over your territory your land these people are coming with ethnic cleansing they are jihadism they believe in this jihadism conquest called holy war that is what they are coming for and these people are not going to stop so i want you people to understand that this man is doing a lot in our land this man had been this man have taken over all most of the lands in our challenge selling it anyhow you want if you speak a bubago will come for you if you talk too much a full and will come and this one that is wearing white that you people see that is a chief security i will call his number now before i will call ibe sonny okay because I want you people to call the man and ask the man, why are, why is he selling the lands of Ashara? Why OJL land? For, for what reason? The land that did not belong to him. And who makes him the king? Do you know that the man that put, do, do, that made this man king? The Anetibu uh, gear? Because this king did not belong to this man. He stole it from people. And when they stole, the man that he paid for him to crown him, the man is no more today. Because I I think you people get my point. So I want you people to know that the one that wearing white, which is a chief security, that one is a is a is a he's selling a, a meat, cow meat, and Fulani is supplying him free meat. And I hope as you are seeing all those, the video that we just finished watching, you can see his security, Ebubagu security everywhere. Because he believed that Ebubagu will protect him. That is why he's selling the land of our people, you know, showing the Fulanis and the, the police and the Ebubagu where the houses of uh, IPOB and they adopting them, putting them in a cell. Because of this man who want to take over Ashara. Now, I want you people to see the number of chief security of Ibe Sonny Mokade so that you people can call him. Because I'm giving you this so that you can call him and ask him, why is he doing this? Why is he have to, you know, punish his own people because of peanut that Fulani want to give to him? The other one that is chief security, they are giving him free meat because of free meat. So that you can be able to sell. And, uh, you know, the gain, the profit is all of all of them are for you. That is the reason why he's pointing out to our people for Ibu Bagu to arrest them, to police to arrest them, to, to full and knee terrorists in army uniform to arrest them and put them in cell because of a uh, free meat. His number is the chief security of Igwe Sonny Wokede. His number is 80080368 3374. Let me repeat it again. This is the one that putting up up white. They were working together. His number is again 080-368-3374. And now Ibe Sonimo Kade. This is his number. And why I'm saying this, you people should call him. Call him and ask him, you know, to, to show that you yourself can also know the reason why he's doing that. Because as many people will call him, then he will begin to tell people, see the reason why I'm doing this. This is the reason why I'm selling our my uh, the, the land of uh, Ashara to Fulani people. This is the reason why I'm calling Ebu Bago and Nigerian terrorist uh, armies in uniform to come and arrest IPOB member because the man thought he is thinking in his mind that IPOB is going to give them give him a problem. That is why he was pointing every houses, and this is the number of uh, Sony 
Igwe Sonny, who gave it. 081-095-98-589. Igwe Sonny, who gave it. One more. 081-095-98-589. Sonny Mokid, Igwe Sonny Mokid, in Achara, in Okanot. So I want you people to call him and begin to ask him a question. Because all these people, I don't even know what they are doing in our land. I have told you people, don't even you think about us working with these people. Don't you ever think about us going closer to these people. If you give these people chance, they will serve Biafra overnight. I'm telling you, there's no two ways about it. These people are full and a boy boy and they have vowed that they must keep on working with full and you know to put us in poverty because of their selfish interests because of their idiocy in them because they, you know whenever they put all this red cap they think that they know not if i on your even when i want if i can for them to know that gray hair is not wisdom you have a gray hair it's not a wisdom you are you are 90 years that does not mean that you are, you are a wisdom person. Wisdom is inborn. So trying to let these people to, to, to go and learn and understand and be able to apply inability to reason to be able to work with their own people. This is what I have for you people today. Great people. Good day. And I hope you understand.